What's up, ZNJ family? I'm back with another video for you. So, I know I'm by myself, and that usually means that I'm about to prank it, but that's not that type of video. Um, so, you know, in our video that we posted when we really got back into things, um, I said that there's some, like, health issues that I had of such that I needed to speak about or clarify or anything like that. So for those of you who know me and you know what I'm saying, just pretty much know me. Yes, you know, I like women, but no, I don't wanna be a man. I dress comfortable, um, and that's what it is. So with that being said, I want to say that I am going to be having surgery. And no, I'm not gonna be having surgery because I wanna become a man or anything like that. I'm gonna be having surgery because for one, I've had some back issues. I got injured um and for two my breasts are like extremely large for my body type like i'm not the smallest person but i know for a fact and after going to the doctors and going to the breast surgeon they've seen the head um it's just you know it's a little not a little it's pretty big you know compared to what it should be or what it could have been so today um i went to the surgeon i was gonna record but couldn't do that so i met with my surgeon and i've been going on this process for about like two years now like like that process is like pretty hard and tedious like you go through physical therapy you have to do physical therapy for a while so I had to do physical therapy to see if it helped my back or helped anything like that you also have to um, manage your weight a lot which is very difficult um, for women who do have big old boobs but um so it's been like a long long process um and it's finally coming together like um Feb february 29 no february 2020 yeah um is when the process really started and just the doctors really didn't touch base with each other such like that so it was very hard for me to get in and get seen and then covid happened and it just really messed it up pushed everything back um and so i finally got to see the doctor and like i'm happy and excited with the outcome of what we talked about um but yeah so in in February so I started to look and research everything um, after I injured my back um, I think I injured my back in J June or July um, and I wasn't able to pick up Lonnie or anything like that like I really couldn't do anything and my job I ain't gonna even speak on them. I should sue their asses, but my job didn't do nothing for me whatsoever. And so I had to just quit and find a different job. That's where I found like a stay at home job. So I don't really have to do anything, do much because I can't lift nothing. It's so hard. Like, I mean, I can lift stuff, but it's very difficult for me to do it. And then not only that, I was in a car accident and I injured both of my wrists. So it's 
it's they said that it was like a minor fracture but i feel like i never took the cast serious or the braces serious and i took took them off and just messed up my wrist more so you know now it's hard for me to just push up off of stuff to sit up or pick Lonnie up sometimes my wrist just hurt and I can't do nothing like today I tried to pick up some tissue bro pissed me off I was like a 30 pack like a roll of 30 tissues I couldn't even pick it up I was pissed off it's like you can't do nothing but yeah so today you know was my appointment day and I went and I wanted to take y'all with me but I couldn't um went to Denver and seen the doctor she was pretty dope you know what i'm saying and in a lot of instances like people don't get to pick their breast size if they want to get a reduction like if you're trying to get like top surgery like for for the women that want to become men you you don't get to pick your size you just get pecs or whatever but in some instances the doctors don't let you pick your size but in this instance you know she was like hey so what size you want i was like girl i don't want none of them but i was just kidding like i still want my breasts like i see myself as a woman still but just because i'm comfortable in just a shirt and i like men's style that doesn't mean i want to be a dude or nothing like that but so she let me pick my size or whatever that i can go down to and I'm actually like pretty happy and she showed me like like you know I took the pictures and stuff and then she showed me like how the incisions would go um she also like showed like told me like the like the timeline and stuff or what possible issues I could have um it was like a little nerve-wracking because you know she started to like do a just like a regular breast exam and she's feeling around and she's like and my grandma my grandmother was there um and so she's feeling around and she looked at my grandma and she's like is there any cancer in the family breast cancer in the family and i almost caught a heart attack like bro don't say stuff like that like it scared the living hell out of me like i got so scared and my grandma was like, no, there's no sign. There's no, we've not had any breast cancer. And the doctor's like, oh, okay, I just wanted to know. And I'm like, bro, you almost gave me a heart attack. I told her, I was like, yo, you almost gave me a heart attack. I almost started crying in here. Cause I thought she was gonna say, hey, she found a lump. Oh, I was about to say, man. But you know, the overall visit was really good. She said that this is gonna be funny. I don't know, TMI, whatever the case, but I'm an open book, so I don't even care. She said that, like, my boo, like, she was holding it and stuff. And she was like, even if we just cut half of this off, and she was grabbing it and messing with it. And she was like, even if we cut half of this off, it would be above average women's breast. And I was like, damn, they can cut some more. Make me, like, a little lower than average. So, you know what I'm saying? These jugs, you know, don't nobody want these jugs. And for anyone who has is who's watching this and they have breast issues like their breasts you feel like they're too heavy or anything like that and you don't really know what you should do or if you can do something look into it because i'm telling you this junk was so easy and if you have some insurances they will pay for it and you don't have to come out of pocket with it um but you just got to be smart about it you know what i'm saying do what you have to do their therapy speak with several doctors and get it done like you know my sister she has like scoliosis um and i'm pretty sure it's primarily from our curse this is a curse this is not not happy about it even if i didn't dress the way i dress or like if i was like very feminist i still wouldn't even like it like it's too much and honestly i wouldn't wish like heavier breasts on anyone because it's really it's hard you know but you know going further because i don't get to see the doctor in, until like february so going further i'm going to take you 
on the journey with me with that because that's going to be scary like I mean surgery like you gotta get to put to sleep she was talking about a tube in my throat I was like what the heck so I'm I was pretty nervous I was even nervous going into the like the meeting with the doctor which is completely crazy like Jada was trying to calm me down and stuff like that but I was still scared because you don't know what she's gonna say you don't know if she's like oh no we can't do this surgery for you but she got a good look at my breast and she was like we're doing it she was actually she was like you you're one of the best candidates for something like this because the issues that I've had it's just ridiculous so I'm gonna take you on that journey you know what I'm saying we're still doing the the giveaway um I'm thinking you know I'm thinking about some maybe some money like just like a cash prize or something like that like I'll just cash app you or something like that so we're still doing the giveaway don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the videos our channel drop a comment down below and stay tuned you know what i'm saying and i'm not playing about this giveaway this ain't no hype or nothing like that i really got that giveaway you know what i'm saying and it's gonna be dope you know what i'm saying i got some i got some bankers <laughs> coming I was actually supposed to do one today, but I was in Denver all day. I didn't get back until like 7, 8 o'clock at night. And I was gone from 11 a.m. So it was bad. So I'm going to, you know, I got some, some things up my sleeve other than tattoos. But um, just just stick with us, you know what I'm saying? Support us, all that. I want to give a special shout out to Jada's sister. I see her as my sister. Yazzie, I love you. And I'm always be here for you. And I can't wait to see you. Peace, love, and happiness. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out.